back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Today I'm doing a book on haul, which is, for some reason, my favorite thing to watch on booktube. Today I will be unhauling books that I have had forever that I have never read and also books that I have read that I either DNF'd, for those of you who are new here that's did not finish, or that I've read and I'm never gonna read again. So there are about 50 books here, so let's just go. The first book I have is An Arc of the Invisibles by Cecilia Galante. Galante? I don't know. I'm never gonna read this. I have no idea what it's about. I've never heard of it. Goodbye. The next book is book two, one of booktube's most beloved books, and that is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I got about 80% into this book where they go camping, her family goes camping, and they take away her phone. And I just thought Eliza was such a narcissist and not a nice person and I kind of sort of know what happens at the end of this book and I'm just not here for it so unpopular opinion not gonna finish it did not like it the next book I am unhauling is Stephen King's The Dark Tower The Gunslinger and the only reason I am unhauling this one is because it's a mass market paperback and I already own the regular paperback like that I think the movie tie-in I haven't read and or seen the movie so that'll be a fun thing for me to do but I don't need two copies of this book the next book I am unhauling is lifelike by Jay Kristoff as you can see it's still nicely packaged I got it in a book box uh, subscription and I got this book box subscription because I thought that they were gonna send me like all contemporaries and I was gonna be so happy and literally all three months that I got it they sent me fantasy or science fiction and I'm never gonna read this so someone's gonna be really happy I think I'm just gonna stay lazy and leave it in this plastic so with that goodbye this is a book that I DNF'd about 100 pages in. When I DNF books, I try to at least get to 100 pages, so I feel at least a little bit accomplished. And that is What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. It's told in two separate, like, two separate characters telling the story, and both of the voices sounded exactly the same to me. And at one point, I was even looking back, and I'm like, wait, who are we talking about? Like, who's, whose point of view am I on right now? So that's what happened with that one. Next book I'm unhauling is Jonathan Troper's This Is Where I Leave You. I even got the movie tie-in. I have no idea what this is about. This is regular adult fiction. I think I was just pumped because it was bargain price $2.97. Like, who wouldn't be pumped about that? But I'm never gonna read this, so it's time to go. Uh, this next book I DNF'd around 150 pages in and I would just like to preface this by saying I love Jeff Zettner. I met him at Y'all Fest. We were both wearing leather jackets and we got a selfie and he was great and I loved The Serpent King. However, I did not love Goodbye Days. 150 pages in. I just, I wasn't interested in the story at all. It was supposed to be sad and I just was bored there's also some religion elements in it and i'm just not about reading about religion so has to go the next book i'm unhauling is this is how i find her by sarah poloski um i've had this on my shelf since i lived in maryland and i've lived in north carolina for two years and i've never even once thought of picking it up i don't love this cover i don't like anything about this so it's time to go the next book I'm unhauling is The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I've seen the movie several times. I actually like the movie. I think Tom Hanks and Matt Long Hair. It's pretty good. I'm never, I'm never gonna actually sit down and read the book, so goodbye. The next book I'm unhauling is Another Arc, A Million Miles Away by Lara Avery. My friend Wes got me a whole bunch of arcs from like a few years previous Y'all Fest. It was very nice of him, but I just have no interest. I've never heard of this book. I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to read it. The next book I am unhauling is Kate Atkinson's Life After Life. I got this hella on sale for $5.97. Can't pass up a bargain. It's a huge book. I'm never going to read it. Okay. The next book I'm unhauling is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Cassie. I have seen the movie. The movie was okay. I just don't have any interest in ever reading this book. Classics are not my thing. Goodbye. The next book I'm unhauling, I'm going to butcher this author's name, so sorry in advance. Aditi Korana? Sure. 
The Library of Fates. I got this book simply on the fact that this cover is beautiful, uh, but this is a fantasy novel and I am not big on fantasy and I'm just not going to read it, but I'm so sad because this, ugh, this cover is beautiful. I got this next book in another book subscription and it's adult fiction, The Myth of Perpetual Summer by Susan Grandel. Something I'm not interested in. I go, it's like a history, goes back in time to like her mom or I don't know. Lipstick Jungle by Candace Bushnell. Look at this cover though. I can like see it on my, that's nice. I did see the series and I didn't hate it, um, but I got this when I was like really deep into watching the Sex and the City TV show, the series, and I was like, wow, she's an author, and I'm just never gonna read this. I just, that's... A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. This was one of the last books I read in 2017, and it was not good. It's blurbed by Stephen King. I thought it was gonna be, like, scary and cool, but it was a two-star read, and I'm never gonna read this again. And I should have DNF'd it, and I didn't, because a year ago I wasn't DNFing things, but now I am. The next book I am actually thinking of not unhauling now that I'm looking out at it. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I got 100 pages in, which is my standard, and it wasn't great. I didn't love the writing style, but I think Reese Witherspoon or someone other else who's important is making a movie or TV show out of it, and I'm thinking about giving it a second chance. So I'm actually just going to put it over here. We'll see my next unhaul if I actually do it again. This next one, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. I'm not afraid to admit that I read this about eight years ago. Did I enjoy it? A little. Am I embarrassed about that? Definitely. It's time to go. Seen the movies, don't know why. Read the book. Read the second book as well and DNF the third one because I couldn't do this anymore. But it's time. It's definitely time to go. The next book I'm unhauling is There Will Be Stars by Billy Coffey. I don't know anything about this book. I actually just got it at my local indie bookstore because I wanted to support them and I totally did. I still have my receipt in here. So I supported them, but I supported them with the wrong book and I'm not gonna read this. This book I'm unhauling is Go Ask Alice by Anonymous. I'm gonna put the author's actual name somewhere down here because uh, I forget it. But I read it about eight years ago, back in 2010, and I thought it was good for what it was, but I'm never gonna read it again. Next book I'm unhauling is, ooh, two books by the same author. The Virgin Diaries by Jeffrey Eugenies and Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenies. I read The Marriage Plot by him a couple years ago and I hated that book. I have also been trying to read The Virgin Diaries by him for like 10 years unsuccessfully, Never gonna read it, don't care about it, goodbye. The next book I lost the book jacket to and also my cats have been biting it. I don't know if you can see that, but they've been showing down. The Leaving by, I don't know, the first name, Alta Brando. Reading this, I got 50 pages in and the writing style is so weird. Like it's about these kids who go missing or they come back, but I just don't understand anything about this writing style and it was confusing and I couldn't, couldn't do it. So it's leaving. The leaving is leaving. This next book also doesn't have a book jacket cause I suck and I bought it this way without the book jacket. Okay. I'm getting rid of The Future of Us by Jay Asher. For obvious reasons, I'm getting rid of books by Jay Asher. He was accused recently of sexual assault in the book community and I'm not about that and I heard this book isn't great anyway. The next book I'm getting rid of is I Stop Somewhere by T.E. Carter. I got 50% into this book. More, like, a lot. And I was so bored. Book Reads has been singing its praises to people who have read it, have really loved it, and I did not love this. So maybe someone else will love it, not me. The next one I'm getting rid of, sorry mom, you bought this for me, is J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy. My mom got it for me because she knows I love Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling. However, this book is about voting, I think, and that just sounds 
super boring. So mom, if you're watching this video, I'm really sorry. I'm getting rid of it. I'm never gonna read it. The next book I am unhauling is I Hate Everyone But You but by Gabby Dunn and Alison Raskin. I got like 45% into this book and there was no plot. I love character driven novels but there was absolutely no plot in this book and I was confused and bored but I love the cover and I think that's why I got it but whatever. Next one I'm getting rid of because I still own the copy and I've actually already read it is Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. It's another mass market paperback. I don't need it. It does like have that old book smell though, which I'm enjoying, but I don't need this, so goodbye. Next book I actually have technically read, but not in this format. This is After by Anna Todd. It is Harry Styles fan fiction. In my last video, I mentioned how much I love One Direction and Harry Styles, so I bought this. However, I read the original fan fiction on Wattpad or fanfiction. whatever. I read it somewhere. And then I bought this and I don't know why. I'm never going to read it again. I don't, I didn't like it that much the first time. And they changed Harry's name to Harden. Harden. Okay. This next book is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Ford. I got this book when I was like just building up my bookcases, my bookshelves, and I was getting books. Okay, like I've semi heard of this. I think this came out when the movie was coming out, but I've seen the movie and it was fine. And I'm just never, I'm just never going to read this, so. Sorry. Herbert Selby Jr.'s Requiem for a Dream. I've never seen the movie. I'll never read this book. I have no interest in it, but I think it was super cheap, $3.99, and I just like can't pass up. I'm like, yeah, I'll totally read that. No, Michelle, you're not gonna read it, so stop getting me these books. This next book is An Arc of Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I believe this is fantasy. I have zero interest in fantasy. Young adult fantasy is not my jam. I don't think it's ever been my jam. I don't like it. I'm not gonna read it. I like the cover. That's about it. This next book I have had for years and years and years and years and years and years and I still have the 25% off Target sticker on it and that's George R.R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones. I'm not gonna read this. I stopped watching the series because so many people were dying. It was so boring. You start to like a character and they die and it's so big and then he didn't finish the series and it's like, why are you gonna do this to yourself? I don't know, no. The next book is Stravaganza City of Masks by Mary Hoffman. My sister-in-law actually was the one who said this book was great and I'm sure it is great. I'll just never know cause I'm never gonna get to this book. It doesn't sound interesting. I'm not really, I just, I don't care. Once again, Jay Asher, what like? Getting rid of Jay Asher because of the recent allegations. Also, I heard this book is like Hallmark movie on crack and I just, I don't have time for that at all. The next book is The Awakening by Kate Chopin. Chopin, Chopin, who knows? I got 25% into this book and it was so, boring. She's just like watching this farmer dude and she's like, I'm a lady and it's supposed to be a feminist novel but it was boring. It's from a hundred billion years ago so I like more cur current, more current books. One is Sister Eve Private Eye by Lynn Hinton. I actually got this at Lynn Hinton's book signing at my library. It's about like a detect, a non-detective, detective nun and I just, I don't have any interest in that. I thought I did but I do not so I'm getting rid of it. The next book is We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. I attempted to watch the movie and I have attempted to read this book at least three times and it's just not working for me. It's just not something I want to read about so it's time to go. The book I'm getting rid of is Thomas Harris's Red Dragon. I sincerely don't know where I got this book. Did I steal it from an ex-boyfriend a billion and a half years ago? Did I buy it because it was literally $1.67? The world may never know. I'm never gonna read this. Okay. The next book is Swallowing Stones by Joyce McDonald. I don't, once again, don't know where I got this book. Did I steal it from someone? Sorry, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I have no idea what it's about. One moment changes everything. This moment is going away. 
The next book is Tinkers by Paul Harding, winner of the Pulitzer Prize, which sounds super boring. So goodbye, Tinker. The next book, Big Girl Panties by Stephanie Ivanovich. I think I got solely because of the title. Big Girl Panties probably gave me a big chuckle. I'm never gonna read this. It's adult fiction. Okay. The next book is After by Amy E. Fall. This has been on my shelf forever. Once upon a time, it was like the number one CBR on Goodreads and it's just been there forever and I am literally never gonna read it and yeah. The Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell. I read this in high school when I was really into the Sex and the City series and I had never read the Sex and the City book so I was confused when Carrie was like, yeah, my loving father, because in the series, her father leaves when she's like three. And I was confused. So in my mind, I didn't like this. I'm never gonna read this again. It didn't match the series, which at the time I thought was important to me, so okay. Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. I still have the beautiful Target sticker on there. I'm never gonna read this. I thought the movie was okay, but I just have no interest in reading this book. So yeah. This is An Arc of Damselfly by Chandra Prasad. I got this at Y'all Fest, literally just like handing it out when I was walking by, and I think it's Lord of the Flies, but for girls or something. I literally don't know. I know. The next one is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I'm sure this is a great book, but I just have zero interest in reading this, and it won the Pulitzer Prize, and it still does not make me care about this book. Next book I got in a book description box and that is This Darkness Mine by Mindy McGinnis. Uh, I read The Female of the Species by her and I freaking loved it but I just have no interest in this book. I don't know what it's about. It doesn't have a great rating on Goodreads and for some reason that's really important to me. So yeah. The next one is S.E. Hinton's The Outsiders. I know this is like the first YA book ever. I've never seen the movie. I don't really care about this. I'm not gonna read it. I'm gonna stop pretending like I care about it. The next book is The Descendants by Kai. Kai Hart Hemmings. I think I'm saying this wrong, so sorry in advance. I got this because I had just seen the movie and I really liked the movie and I was like, it's a book. I'm totally gonna read that. You know I'm lying. Oh, uh, this next one might be a little controversial. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I read Strange to Dreamer last year and I hated that book so much. And I know that's an unpopular opinion on booktube. Everyone seems to love it. I have no idea what was happening. I DNF'd it literally like 80% in and apparently the big thing happened like the last 10% and that's way too long for me. It was like 600 pages. I have no interest in reading anything else by Lainey Taylor ever, so this will have a nice new home. I think this next book is actually my friend Jordan's. So Jordan, you might be getting some mail from me. Nicholas Sparks Safe Haven. I'm getting rid of this book because I have already read it and I don't think I'm ever gonna read it again. However, I love the movie. So Jordan, thanks for letting me borrow it probably 10 years ago. It's yours. And these two kind of go together. Dan Brown, Angels and Demons, which I think is technically before The Da Vinci Code, but they made The Da Vinci Code movie first. I don't know. I'm getting rid of it because I'm, yeah, before The Da Vinci Code was broken. So maybe, I don't know. And then Dan Brown, The Lost Symbol. My husband read this book and he said it was not good. And I trust him. So I don't want to read it. This next one is weird because I mentioned it in my first video that I love this book. Uh, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is because it's the mass market paperback and I already own somewhere over there the original paperback. But this one does have the lovely Kristen Stewart and I don't know his real name but Cedric Diggory on it. I just, yeah. Someone else can get this version, because I already have mine. Once again, a Jay Asher book, Piper. I think this is a graphic novel. I don't know why I got it. I just had reread like 13 Reasons Why and was super pumped about Jay Asher and then that thing happened and yeah, we just, goodbye. Two more, two, two more. 
This is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. Uh, I love Emery Lord. Um, I like all her books except for this one. I thought the main character Lucy was just like a plain Jane, super boring. It also had a lot to do with religion, which is something I don't like to read about, so go ahead. And the last book I am unhauling today is The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. This was, I unhauled this around the same time that the allegations against him happened, so I'm not gonna read this. It was not, yeah, just, no. So that's all my books. I think that's 49 or 50. I didn't count. Did you count? I didn't count. Let me know in the comments if you think there's a book that I should absolutely 100% keep and I would think about it. Definitely subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!